Cruz needs to keep the base energized because if O'Rourke can gin up his base, this red seat could turn blue. Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Nussbaum. Barry, O'Rourke has a problem, though. Even though these polls, some of them are in his favor, the difficulty is going to be turning these polls into affirmative votes. Absolutely, Graham. Uh, the polling, just as it was when Trump was running for president, doesn't tell you who's really going to show up among the likely voters. The Cruz supporters are long time conservatives and the Beto supporters, many of whom have just moved to the state, don't have a high percentage of turnout. Keep in mind, this state has voted red for over two decades on every single statewide office. That's an extremely long track record of Republicans showing up and outvoting the Democrats. But Beto is running a campaign not dissimilar from Barack Obama's uh, old campaign idea, which is go left, be a progressive, raise a lot of money from individuals, and promise to give people free stuff. And so far in Texas, it's gotten the liberals to get excited. Let's see what happens in November. I predict Cruz pulls it out. And it's interesting. He's told uh, Barack Obama, hey, you know what? I, I don't need you. I don't need you campaigning in my state. I can win this thing without you. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, now, uh, over in California, in San Francisco specifically, an Obama-appointed judge, a lawyer dressed in a black robe, just... Well, I was thinking of a bad word, so I'm going to use a, a good word here. He just ruined the separation of powers. Yeah, you know, the, the legislation coming out of certain judicial offices is shocking, and it is blurring uh, the separation of powers going back to our founders' days. When a judge can decide, and in this case, this is what the judge held, that Trump's decision to start deporting illegal people who broke into this country... Uh, is probably racist and is therefore probably a violation of the Constitution and therefore this local uh, judge uh, in the district, a federal district court judge in San Francisco is changing the federal law by himself. Right. This is not what the judiciary was meant to do. He's legislating from the bench, which by the way is what brought uh, Judge Kavanaugh is pledging he would never ever do on the United States Supreme Court. Now, uh, in, uh, in California, of course, it's a sanctuary state for illegal immigrants, we all know that, but <laughs> St. Louis was trying to be a sanctuary city for abortion. Yeah, this is incredible. The sanctuary idea has gotten to the point where local municipalities, Graham, get this, can decide any law they don't like, they just won't follow. And therefore, they will make it safe to do whatever they decide in their own infinite wisdom in the mayor's office or the city council's office to decide, well, we're not going to follow the law anymore. In this case, they were literally demanding providers uh, of, of facilities to make them available for abortion, violating certain constitutional guarantees on a federal level that cannot be abrogated by a local municipality. I don't know where it's going to stop. You've got cities literally falling apart because laws aren't being followed because the progressives who are running those cities have gone crazy. And I don't know how else to say it. They've gone crazy. They're ignoring the legislation that the people voted on or the people's representatives voted on. And in their infinite wisdom, they're making their own law. They're making they up, can't do it and it's gotta stop them. They're, they're making up their own constitution. I mean, think about it. They're trying to force people uh, who may hold religious beliefs to rent their facilities to abortion clinics, even though they don't, that's what we call uh, an infringement of the First Amendment rights uh, of these people. It's incredible they tried this, and thank goodness some constitutional judge came forward and said, hey, St. Louis, uh, gateway to the West, you cannot become a gateway to death. Barry, thanks.